Let's take a look at the recording options in WaveLab Pro 10. Using the audio editor, you can record a mono or stereo file by simply clicking on the recording button on the transport section here. It will open a recording window with different options. Uh, you can create a file to create, could be a temporary file or name file, which you can give him a location. From here, you could uh, set the channels to be mono or stereo recording with a sample rate and be deaf in here. You also have the input selection in here where you could set the input bus, could be the main recording bus, could be the main playback bus or reference track from the inputs. And on the right side here, you have different options, auto start, auto stop, auto pause, auto create options for the recording, which you can set different value under the value tab here. You have an auto start on sound, threshold value, record preview sample value, recording programming values, etc. directly from the value tab here. On the option tabs, you have different preferences you can set, adding markers, when inserting recording in audio files, after recording, move edit cursor to the end, etc. Now, if we look at the middle section here with the metering, you have a level you can see here. You could also use a spectrum level here with different setting options, reset button, and auto monitoring options here. Now, when you're happy with your options and preferences, you can just start the recording here. You'll have a recording time and disk capacity showing here in this section. So when you start recording, you can see the background turns red, so it's recording now. And this becomes available, which is actually be able to set up a marker as you go. But you can just insert a marker, like regular marker. It will let you name it. So we'll just say mark one, set another marker mark two. Uh, you can also set a beginning of the region. So it says region one and when the region ends. So as you're recording, you can simply start adding markers or select different regions that you might want to go back and, and tweak or, or uh, fix later on. Once you're done with the recording, you can just stop the recording as you can see close that window here you can see that audio editor have a new file entitled file of the recording we just made and you notice i have the marker which i inserted here so your marker one marker two and also a region that i created region one beginning region one and the end region one now you can also use montage to record up to eight tracks. So you could set the cursor where you want to start the recording and engage each track independently. So you have a recording button can engage directly from here. So let's engage maybe three tracks. Now each track can be bussed separately. So you have a little bussing on the right and a little icon here. You can just hit the record button. It will start the recording at the cursor positions. You can see all the tracks that are armed are now engaged and recording. Finally, you can use the live input recording options under master sections, which allows you to record and render your favorite effects within your recording. So once you engage it, you can set your input bus for one or multiple inputs, the sample rate you want to record at. And once you're ready, you could set live input rendering. And this will open this window which tells you which plugins are used and will be printed with your recording and start rendering.